I am, uh, I reached a hundred. I don't know how, how that happened. I didn't expect it to reach a hundred, but uh, <clears throat> I'm here and, and I feel fairly well for my age. But uh, I would like to turn the clock back to maybe 60 or 70, but that's not possible. So, uh, um. well, the telecommunications, uh, it's amazing that I can have a little instrument in my palm of my hand and call somebody in Texas. How that happens, I have no idea. The world has really passed me by. I, uh, it's amazing the technology that's been developed. The, air, the airlines, the way they operate, and the new automobiles, the, it's just amazing that the changes that's taken place since I was a young man. Well, I moved around a lot. My mother passed away when I was five years old. And uh, I was passed from one grandparent to another, back and forth. And uh, I had a, a stepmother and uh, I, I probably didn't spend more than two years in any one school district growing, growing up. I changed approximately every two years. Some places it was only one year. One place was in Burnson, Michigan for three years. But uh, it's, it was uh, a little bit hard to uh, get a, a very good education from high school. I did finish high school. But, uh, <clears throat> After that, I, I, uh, I got a job on the railroad when I was 21, and I stayed with that job for four years until I was 81, 61, 21 to 61. And, uh, I've been retired about 38 years, so it's been a pretty, pretty long life. Well, <clears throat> I, I <clears throat> grew up during the Depression. In uh, 1930, about the middle of the Depression, I was 10. And I was old enough to to realize the circumstances, and you just couldn't get a job. I, I first job I guess I had was delivering milk with uh, glass bottles, and. Uh, How old were you? How old were you when you got your first well, job? That was, I was probably 10 or 10, 12 years old. And uh, it was, uh, I, I'd go down to the, to the element, to the uh, feed store or elevator and I'd get corn cobs in a, a gunny sack. And I'd sell them to elderly people for five cents a bag. So, uh, it would start 
fire in the stove with them corn dogs. And, uh, and, uh, I, uh, I, I came to Elkhart from Huntertown in 1937. And uh, I got a job uh, painting houses, uh, same job as my dad had for Charlie Fieldhouse, our, our landlord. We rented, we painted everything brown. That was my first job. I think it was 30 cents an hour. Yeah. And, uh, a job opened up at W.W. Uh, w. Wilt's grocery store. It was a brand new self-service store that that, that that sort of service just started. Used to be you'd go in and tell the clerk what you wanted, he'd go to the shelf and get it, bring it back. But this, you went around and served, picked out what you wanted, and that was something new. And they wanted a bag boy to bag the groceries. And uh, I took that job so I'd have a job while I was going to school. And that was 25 cents an hour. So opportunity opened up and I could get a job on the railroad in 1941. I hired out on the railroad. And what, what did you do on the railroad? Started out as a fireman. I was an engine man. You, you start out as a fireman and you work your way up to get to be an engineer. And uh, it, it, it progresses in three steps. You, 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 you start with steam engines, it's shovel coal. And, uh, Start in the yard. Those were well, mostly all hand fired. You stubble with, with a scoop show. Then you next step was a freight. And those mostly had stoker engines. As you you operated stoker, put put the coal in it with a stoker. Then the next step was passenger. And then after that you. you you got promoted to engineer, and you started all over. You had to go back in the yard. There was an engineer in the yard, and an engineer on freight, and then an engineer on pass. I finished up in uh, 1981 as an engineer on Amtrak. I was. Uh, Drafted in the army in 1942, June, June 22nd, and uh, <clears throat> I took basic training. I was infantry training, and uh, 13 weeks of, of that training in Camp Joseph D. Robinson in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm a I'm a northern boy, and in, in, in June and July and August, I'm in, it was hot, Arkansas. And at that time, he didn't have air conditioning. Uh, <clears throat> after basic training, he, they assigned me to a, a railroad battalion. I tried to get in the Air Corps, but uh, I had railroad experience, and they were starting these railroad battalions, and that's where they put me. And I, I, I tried to get out of that and list in the Air Corps, but they wouldn't let us out. So. The railroad battalion was under the engineer, so I took basic training, engineer basic training. 
for 13 weeks. And then we left for overseas in around uh, uh, March or April of 43. And uh, we left, uh, I think it was uh, Orange Park, New York, where we shipped out from to uh, 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 Iran, or to Algiers, North Africa. That's where we wound up. And, uh, I was in North Africa for uh, 13 months. So we, we took over the railroad and operated the railroad in North Africa. And uh, then we moved from North Africa after 13 months. I thought we might be going home for R&R, &R, but he sent us to uh, Naples, Italy, and we we put we had our base in in Rome, Italy, and we was there probably for five or six months, operating the railroad in, in Italy, and uh, after about six months. We, all, we packed all up, and I thought we might be going home again. That was, that was 18 or 20 months. But we went to Marseille, France, and they sent us up based at Dijon, France. And we was there for another four or five months operating the railroad in France. And then from there, they moved us to Frankfurt, Germany. And uh, that, that after three or four months there, the, the war was over in Frankfurt, Germany. But I was, I was overseas two and a half years without any R&R &R back home. So it was a little bit slow getting us back home after the war was over, and that was kind of distasteful. But the war in, in uh, Japan was still going on, and then I guess they were didn't know what, how they was going to use us, and that is the reason they held us. 